do everything together. <laughs> I cannot get away from this woman. <laughs> jessiefitness.com headquarters because around here we leave at 2.30 so we can go to the gym. It's part of the office day. I get to the office at about 10 every day and well not every day. Yeah, I try. I work from home on Wednesdays and Fridays and oh it's hot. I have an amazing nanny that watches Samantha on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays so that I can actually get some work done. So Mondays and Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm in this office. And Carrie and I, the amazing Carrie. Whoop. <laughs> That's me. You made your own sound effect. Yeah, I, look, I can see myself in your glasses. You can. Yeah. Whoop. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so can everybody else. Uh, oh, Start yeah. We work from like 10 a.m. till till about 2.30. And then we go get our beast mode on. Yeah, we do. I make her come with me so that you guys can all watch my workout on video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gangster today. You're gangster every day. Why is it still so hot? <laughs> oh, I, the, the, uh, oh, that's okay. The new, I have new camera equipment for vlogging. And one of them is a dashboard like suction cup, right? Yeah, totally is. And it's suction to my backup camera screen right now, so I don't know if I can go in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were successful. Once you've had a backup camera, you can't go back. You really can't. <laughs> we're going to Independence Gym in Scottsdale, and we are training back and chest. I'm really excited about that, because I don't do chest very often. When I do, it's about once a week, and I incorporate it in another muscle group that I'm training. Chest days are included in other muscle groups like back or shoulders, so I get excited when I train chest because I love training chest, but I don't dedicate a whole day to it because I don't feel the need to train chest all day. Um, unless you are training for like women's physique or women's bodybuilding, those categories, they do require a chest day because you need to be really developed in all aspects of your physique, very well developed. You can't have uh, an underdeveloped chest when you're training and competing as a women's bodybuilder or a women's physique athlete. Um, but if you are just training to be a badass Jessie's girl for life, or if you're doing figure or bikini, there should be a Jessie's girl's gang sign. There should be. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah! JG. I like it. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> this is a J and this is a G. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah this needs more hook, but. <laughs> Does that mean I can do this while driving? Oh, oh, that is. <laughs> you are very talented. <laughs> I like it. Uh, we I talked about it. doing a Jesse's Girl tattoo. Mm -hmm. So the, we need a gang son and a tattoo. I think we should do a brand. Yeah. Like just burn that Ooh. shit into your you shoulder. Go first. <laughs> go first. <laughs> Um, anyway, so we're training back and chest, and I grabbed this workout from phase one, week three of the Jessie's Girls Bikini Body program, so I'm really excited about that. That book has a lot of really awesome workouts where you're combining body parts, doing a lot of plyometrics, things like that, so I really like the Bikini Body program because, because it has a really good combo of uh, chest and back on the same day. So we are training uh, week, week three of phase one of Bikini Body is four sets of 12 reps. So that's our sets and reps for the day. And we're going to, uh, when we hit back and chest, we're going to do underhand bent rows for back. We are going to do the pec deck machine. We're going to do it regular for chest flies and we're going to also do it in reverse for rear delt flies. Um, we're going to do straight arm lat push downs for our lats, our back. And uh, we're gonna do some chest press in the machine. So we're gonna do machine chest press. And we're gonna top off that workout and finish it off with some reverse gable flies. So it's gonna be an awesome- It's gonna be so awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be an awesome chest and back workout. I can't wait. So I'll see you guys there. <laughs> I'm trying to follow along. 
long. <laughs> that was Jessie is a friend. Oh, yes, she is. <laughs> is a friend. I tried it as far as I got. Okay. We have arrived. I have NLA for her aminos in my water bottle already. And what am I going to add? Any guesses? Da, 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 da. Uplift. Guava. Always turn off the air conditioning <laughs> before taking a scoop of uplift out of your container if you are supplementing inside of your vehicle. One time I did this. Wow. You got this. Look at you got this. I, got, I, I feel like, you know, what is it, Willy Wonka, when you get um, the, the golden, golden ticket? ticket. You did. <laughs> you got the long scooper. I got the longest scoop that ever existed for the tiniest it's like i think they do it on purpose so that you can't lose it you you know like when you're drinking tea oh my god and they want you to be able to just like have it right there they just it's yeah. like a, it's like a little soup spoon you know they just don't want me to have to stick my hand in the container you have a gravy you have a gravy <laughs> yes spoon. this is a gravy boat yeah it of, is uplift so if your air conditioning is on and you go like this it blows around boop, 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 boop. Just one scoop today. We're here. Let's get a killer workout in. Can't wait. So I are you recording? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do underhand bent rows. And I wanna do them in the squat rack. I like doing everything as much as possible in the squat rack. So you could go to the uh, the part of the gym and grab like a preset barbell, but it's really important to not be scared of the squat rack. So all I did here is set up the pins. Every pin is different. Every squat rack is different, but this one works just like this. So I came over here, they were in there, and I set them right here. And take the arm out. And I'm put it right there. And what that does is it makes it so that I can load up the weight and I can just walk up to it and grab it and take a step back, do my exercise, and put it back. So I don't have to deal with lifting it up and or, or being in an awkward position. It's just ready for me. It's at the perfect height. So I just get busy. You still recording? <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna put some tunes in and I am going to do two warm-up sets with the bar only just to check in on my body and see where I wanna be today with the weight. And then I will do, I will start my four sets of 12 working sets.
Okay, next up is pec deck flies, okay? So we're gonna hit our chest. This is our first chest exercise of the workout. So we're kind of warming up here, making sure it feels good, getting some blood flowing. flowing in the muscle and it just feels really good so that weight was perfect for me every machine is different I'm doing 25 pounds on this machine as you saw when I first started I had it at 40 pounds which is normal for me with high deck flies um, but I couldn't even move it so I don't know what kind of machine this is or why it's so different but I went down to 25 pounds and it was perfection so I'm gonna leave it right there and do four sets of 12 reps gym right now that machine is kind of shoved up against the wall and I just don't have enough room to do it basically you can use a standard flat pull down bar um, but if you can find one of these I like it even better the distance from the end to the end is ideal you want to be a little wider than shoulder width so this is perfect okay and I really like the bumps on the bar because it is better on my wrist Try to get by a mirror when you do this so you can really watch your form. So it doesn't need to be up really high. You don't need to be here, okay? You just need to be, have the bar be about like nose height from you. You step back with it and my body basically goes like this. Okay, so I stick my butt out like this and you just want to let the weight pull you up just like that. Pull your arms up. So you stand just like this and push down. You bring it to about right here. You don't need to touch your thighs. Okay, just right here. And back up, okay? My whole back feels like swollen and pumped up. Feels amazing. Really getting the lats working here. This is a perfect follow up to those bent over underhand rows that we just did. My whole back feels fired up right now. I love it.
is reverse pec deck. So we're back on the pec deck machine. I'm gonna sit backward on it and we're gonna hit the rear delts. This one is really important to me because I feel like everybody does this so wrong. They just sit on this machine and they just go through the motions without thinking properly about what is exactly supposed to be happening. So I'm gonna walk you through that right now. Every pec deck machine is different. You wanna make sure you get nice and set up. I don't even use the seat when I'm doing reverse pec decks. So when I'm doing, well, I call them reverse pec decks, when I'm doing rear delt fly, rear delt flies, reverse flies, reverse pec deck, I don't know, just do your shit. So I look kind of funky when I'm doing these because I don't sit here like this. I am out of the saddle, I lean forward, and I go from there. So it's kind of funky, but it helps me hit exactly where I want to hit. Now, there's so many different options for holding on here. I like to get in and put my hands just like this, put on that. It makes it so I can just basically push like this instead of grabbing, instead of gripping here, gripping here, gripping here. I'm simply just like resting my hands on the machine so that I can get in and just push the weight out with my hands. You want to set your body up so that your hands come straight out in front of you so you don't want them low, you don't want them high, you just want straight out, okay? So I just did 60 pounds 
it feels pretty light. So I know that that's light for me. I'm gonna go to 70 for my first set, and I'm totally okay with uh, if I need to move up from there to add a little bit more weight. Uh, lots of different variations of grips that you can do here, but right now I'm just gonna do a standard grip, which is an overhand chest press. Let's do it. notice there with that quickie little warm-up set is that I'm not getting a very good range of motion so I'm gonna mess with the machine and see if I can improve that a little bit which I can I'm so happy about that I felt like I was stopping short you know and I really want more range of motion um, I feel like the seats too short I found myself kind of scooting my body up because you don't want to press too high up right here you want to be like right out from underneath your shoulders so I need to raise the seat and get more range of motion, add a little bit more weight, and get going on the working set. Exercise, which is super fun. I'm exhausted. I'm ready to eat. So I'm doing reverse cable flies to finish off this workout. Really the point of this is just to really burn out my rear delts and my back. Um, I had an awesome training session with back and chest and this one is really just to kind of finish it all off and burn it out and feel good. Like I totally toasted every possible muscle I could in my back and uh, go feel up when I'm done. Let's do it. getting a little heavy the last couple of reps I wasn't super stoked on my form so I'm gonna drop the weight a little bit and keep going Thank you so much for watching. I hope you copy this workout and have just as much fun and kill it just like I did. And my post-workout meal is in the trunk. 
Oh, Jesus, you're not eating that. I am. No, you're not. You don't let me? No. Why? Because it's above the temperature. It's not safe. It was like 30 minutes ago. It's 112 degrees outside. It's like it's just it's been not in the okay. oven for a long time. Yeah, no, we're not eating that. Okay, what about my gains? Okay, we're gonna eat something else. Oh my God. I'll buy your lunch. You're not eating that. Seriously? If you die, I don't have a job. I'm still alive and I'm 34 and I've been eating hot meals out of my trunk for we're, a long time. We're gonna fix that right now. <laughs> Thank you for choosing Chick-fil-A or Katie. My name is Cecilia. How may I serve you? Can I have a grilled chicken sandwich, please? Just the entree? Uh, just the sandwich, yes. And a hot black coffee? Yeah. And Sorry, what was that? Just the sandwich, please. All right, so a grilled sandwich. The yes, and what kind of sauce do you put on it? It comes with a honey roasted barbecue. Can you leave it off and make it so it's totally plain? Anything else? Did, I, did you hear me ask for it totally plain? <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Can I have no sauce, just totally plain? All right. Anything else? Yes, I'll have one black coffee, please. Hot. A coffee? Yes, please. Any cream or sugar? No, thanks. No medium or large? Medium? It's good. Medium? Yeah. All right. So I have a grilled sandwich made with a medium coffee? Yes, a totally plain grilled chicken sandwich. Yes, a grilled sandwich. Yes, thank you. My pleasure. It's going to come to 7.34. Thanks. My pleasure. She hates you. She does. She was saying my pleasure with like the middle finger. Yeah. She yeah. was like, my pleasure. Yeah. Annoying. I heard you say you want a plane. I hope it comes with sauce on it. Because you said it four That's times. So rude. You're I'm like totally plain. Here's the thing, when like I'm a confirmation person, so when I say, Can I have a chicken sandwich with no sauce? And her response is, Would you like anything else? I need her to address Absolutely. what I just said. You I, do. I need that. It's a yeah. So I have to repeat it again which makes her be like, you're the most annoying person that's ever come through the drive-thru. But she just needs to say, yes, you can have that. Would you like anything else? Honestly, she might not have heard me. And all she said was, would you like anything else? And yes, I did want a coffee. There was something next, but you need to tell me that you heard me say I need my sandwich plain. I don't have time for honey mustard Dijon. Uh, stay tuned to find out how my chicken sandwich comes. <laughs> you wanna like make a bet, I think, because I stress so much that I want it plain with no sauce, that it's going to come without even lettuce and tomato and all there's gonna be. It's just gonna be a bun with the grilled chicken patty. And that's it. Thank you. Oh, oh. No sauce. All good. Lettuce, tomato, it's exactly how I wanted it, except I want some pickle. I'm so happy with you, Chick-fil-A. I love you. I'm going to eat you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just got home from my day and my workout, and it's Sammy girl time. Sammy girl time. Sammy girl time. Hi, sweet girl. What you doing? You playing with some blacks? You playing with some blacks? Yeah. What you got? Some CLA? Starting her young? Got the post-workout Chick-fil-A sandwich and I can't believe you didn't order Chick-fil-A. Even for later. This is the Chick-fil-A champion right here. But only if I have a weight day. You didn't train today? I ran. Why are you being so creepy? Because I'm just creepy. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're generally a creepy guy? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Hi, princess pants. <gasps> Can you clap? Oh, so close. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.